those things. All right, so these problems are, are uh, not too, too complicated. So let me just tell you a little bit more about types of electrodes that can be used. Um, it's not always true that you have to use an electrodes that are going to be consumed or uh, have uh, species deposited on them. You can use an inert uh, electrode, such as a platinum electrode. And here is an example of that. So here, uh, this, this cell has a platinum electrode. And that uh, the reaction that's happening, you have actually two things in solution instead of going from a solid to a solution. So this is just another example of a type of cell. So let's think about then what equations we would write for this chemistry and what's going on. So over here at the cathode, uh, what happens at a cathode? Oxidation or reduction? I'm hearing somewhat of a consensus that's correct, reduction. These are things, that's something you're going to need to memorize. It'll be important in doing problems later on. So what is the reduction reaction that you imagine would be happening if you have copper plus two and copper solid? So if you're reducing it, you're going to be reducing copper plus two with two electrons to copper solid. So same reaction we saw before. So what about over here? This is the anode, which has the oxidation reaction going on. And what oxidation reaction can you imagine happening with chromium uh, plus 3 and chromium plus 2? What's going to what? Yeah. So you're going from plus 2 to plus 3 uh, with one electron here. So that would be the oxidation reaction. So let's think about how we would actually write this down then. Uh, so the notation for this type of cell, we're going to have the platinum. It indicates the electrode. A single line indicates a phase boundary. Uh, and then in solution, you have the chromium plus 2, chromium plus 3. Those are both aqueous, so they have a comma between them. So this is on uh, one side in one of the beakers. So that's the reaction at the uh, anode. And then we have a uh, bar here that indicates the salt bridge. And then in the other beaker, we would have the copper plus 2 and the copper solid separated by a single line because there's a phase boundary between the aqueous and the solid. And then here are our two, uh, our two equations. At the anode, uh, we have copper plus 2 uh, aqueous going to copper plus 3 aqueous and an electron. At the cathode, we have copper plus 2 aqueous and two electrons going to copper solid. So those are our two equations and how, how we would write that down. Another example of an electrode uh, is a hydrogen electrode. And this is very common. In fact, most uh, potentials, standard reduction potentials, or as they're also known, oxidation reduction potentials, are measured against a standard hydrogen electrode. And it'll, it'll be abbreviated SHE. Uh, and so if you see that it was measured against SHE, you will now know what that means. So that's a standard hydrogen electrode. So there's a couple of different uh, variations. It can be used uh, at the ca at cathode or at the anode. Uh, and so if you're using it at the cathode, H plus is reduced. Uh, and at the anode, uh, H2 is oxidized. And, and often you have a, a platinum system uh, there as well for the standard hydrogen. Uh, so the platinum is commonly used in a standard hydrogen electrode. So let's just sort of look at a, a little picture uh, of this. Um, so here we may have like a glass uh, cylinder here. We're pumping in H2 gas. And here uh, you can see it sort of bubbling down. We may have a solution of uh, hydrochloric acid, which would have a lot of H plus in it. And so this would be a hydrogen electrode um, on one side, the other side may have something uh, more common or something that we saw before, the zinc solid and the, and the zinc in solution. So uh, since this is, on this side we have the cathode, uh, we can write about the a H plus aqueous, uh, a bar for the phase transition to H2 H, uh, gas, and then we indicate that there's also a, a platinum electrode uh, going on here. And the other side is what we saw before, the zinc solid and the zinc plus 2. So you're just introducing different types of electrodes that you may be seeing in this particular unit. And again, you want to remember what reaction is going on in the cathode.